Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you are watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now, yesterday, Dennis Itumbi has been trending on social media after his brother David Itumbi shared some information on his Twitter account claiming that his brother Dennis Itumbi has been abducted by thugs. <laughs> And this was at 4.30 p.m. If you allow me to read. They have just abducted my brother Dennis Itumbi in a thuggish way. Keep your gadget charged. We'll be updating you. I asked myself a question there. If you read this tweet. Where is telling Kenyans, keep your gadget charged. We'll be updating you. The first question I asked myself, really, <laughs> in a such situation, Will you be asking people to keep their gadget charged for updates or you will be asking for their prayer and help to find out where Dennis Itumbi is? Anyway, there is a second tweet he shared after Dennis Itumbi was found and uh, this is what he said. If you allow me to read. My brother has been badly beaten. We thank God that he is alive. On his own account, he was arrested by police and beaten by beaten and uh, tattooed this is the state we found him in see pictures please pray for his recovery as antenna for your many prayers and uh, support that is david itumbi a brother to dennis itumbi and kenyans have raised so many questions on this photo <laughs> and what they are asking is why did they just decide to wipe dennis itumbi before taking the photos rather than taking the photo in his real situation before they clean him. Because if really he was damaged to that level, it means there was blood that was oozing. And now, this is not funny, but I found it very important. If you check on Dennis Itumbi's brother, you'll find that when he tweeted that photo, Kenyans went there to give their views. And there's someone... Who shared some information that David uh, Dennis Itumbi had tweeted sometimes back in 2017. And this is what Dennis Itumbi said. The law allows police to use force in several circumstances and uh, the courts all over the world have upheld that fact. So these Kenyans are reminding Dennis Itumbi's brother that Itumbi has been there glorifying Tagari treatment that Kenyans have gone through in the hands of police, the mistreatment. Dennis Tumbi has been there supporting that circumstance. So he should not ask for favor from Kenyans when the person who was glorifying mistreatment of Kenyans is now going through the same situation. So that's very important. Now we want to check the reaction from the Deputy President William Samai Ruto and some remarks from Professor Mutai Ngonyi. But before we go into that, I have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed. So our humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video on this channel, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and anyone who drop comment, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, we are asking you to give this video thumbs up so that YouTube we recommend our video to more viewers or a larger audience. Back to our discussion. Now, this is what the dead president William Samai Ruto shared on his Twitter. If you allow me to read. We are in the 21st century, but living like we are in Stone Age era. <laughs> this is not the direction we should fall into. Hashtag shocked. And Kenyans, as usual, they went ahead to respond to that tweet. And in this point, this is what Kenyans are asking the deputy president. Where was he when Jacob Juma was murdered? Where was the deputy president when Musando was killed? They are still asking him where was he when Robert Alai was beaten to an extent of being disremembered. You could not even tell the real face of Robert Alai. And remember, Alai was beaten by police under the leadership of President Uru Kenyatta and William Samuel Ruto, 
being his deputy and a principal advisor. So the question is, where was the DP so that now is only coming this time to pretend that he is shocked? Why is he shocked today and he was not shocked the other time? Because this is not the first time people in Kenya are passing through such situations. Now, Professor Mtaenguni also shared his views on the situation of Dennis Itumbi. And this is what he's saying, if you allow me to read. On the matter of Dennis Itumbi versus the Republic, we must pose Q Bono question. Who benefits? The biggest beneficiary is responsible for injuries caused on this son of the soil. Judie Ikoswali. That is the question Professor Mutanguni is asking the Tangatanga team. And you see, the truth of the matter is, is that Dennis Tumbi has been the senior blogger and a close ally of the deputy president, William Samuel Ruto and the UDA party. So, in case such a person is passing through in such a situation, definitely there is sympathy that will go to that side. So Tangatanga, what Professor Mtai Nguni is saying here, have been seeking sympathy. And maybe they have decided to achieve this sympathy and make the top trending news in Kenya through causing injury to Dennis Itumbi. That is according to Professor Mutai Nguni. And to some extent, Mutai Nguni has a point. That can be true. Because these people can decide to go ahead eh? and they just cause harm to Dennis Tumbi, maybe without his information. But they know what they want to achieve at the end of the day. So I agree with Professor Mutai Nguni. It can be either way. Now this is the second tweet from Professor Mutai Nguni. If you allow me to read. My friend Dennis Tumbi, UDA is a fellowship of tags. And you are a pink tag. Soft and untested. Do not joke with the getting kidnapped. Hustlers are known to eating children. <laughs> so Professor Mtai Nguni here also is giving a warning to Dennis Itumbi. And if you look closely, those people who have worked with the deputy president, to some extent even some people have lost their life. We don't understand through what circumstance. Can they so many other people, they have faced very rough situation. So that could be the reason why Professor Mtai Nguni is giving this warning to Dennis Itumbi. That this is just a game plan of Tangatanga side with a, a specific perception they want to create for their own benefit. Now, reading into this issue, the truth can be that if this was the deep state disciplining Dennis Tumbi, then we can conclude and say that these people did not intend to kill Dennis Tumbi. They were only giving a warning to Dennis Tumbi that stop what you are doing, and if not, you will face it. We can conclude and say that. But again, this can be just a frame up. By using Dennis Tumbi just to create a perception and get sympathy. It can be true. These people can go ahead and tell Dennis Tumbi to pretend that he has been beaten and eh, passed through such a hard situation. And even the question we are asking ourselves is, how do you get to take a photo with someone in such pain and be smiling at the same time? <laughs> Look at the Tangatanga MPs who are going to visit Dennis Tumbi. Akina Kimani, Ichungwa, and the team. They are busy taking a photo while he's smiling. And Dennis Tumbi cannot even see when they are taking photo. Does it mean that these Tangatanga MPs are so much heartless and chasing cloud everywhere? Because you need to sympathize with someone. Even, even how do you take photo? And share it out when a person is in a such situation, unless if you are not just there for a pan, uh, 
for our own personal gain in the public. I don't think if it is correct or advisable even, or human, to do such a situation. The little these people could do is to visit Dennis Etumbi and pray with him and try to help in an investigation, but not take such photo while smiling and sharing on social media. Otherwise, they should not be even smiling. But when they are smiling, it means there is something behind this. They might have achieved the goal that they had intended to achieve. Now, those are the views that I saw. It was important for us to discuss it here. I don't know what you think about this, but let us meet in the comment section where you can drop your comment and even add some value to this conversation in a place where you think I did not touch. So please drop your comment. Otherwise, may good, may good God bless you and see you in our next video.